Welcome everybody to part 8 of Robots on GameCube. The next level of the game is also incredibly short, just like City Raceway. In fact, it's entirely dedicated to the next boss. Unfortunately, Ro Rodney has to go back to the sewer to face that boss. He spent a lot of time in the sewer in the last level, finding spare parts. Rodney, you're back! And with those spare parts, too! Great! Listen, I have one more invention that should help you. Scramblers. They were going to be a surprise, but the shipment was hijacked by one of those old sewer maintenance bots. The fumes down there have made him pretty nutty. So, I doubt he'll give them back without a fight. Go show him who's the boss! While you're here, can I help you with anything? Scramblers is another grenade kind of weapon. Now let's see if... Aw oh man, that item you can buy, that doubles your value of scraps not available still. Oh no wait, the charger manic? Oh that's right, it only uh, doubles your energy, but here's the Wonderbot trick, Chip. You can get it at Jackhammer's in this level where you face that maintenance bot. And look, Cappy's here. I'd love to chat with you, but I really can't. Well, lucky for you, I can't chat either, because I have a big maintenance bot to face. And the boss fight is all about firing cannons at each other. Just wait till you see the next cutscene. Yeah, that's right. Rodney's not afraid of you, big guy. That's the sewer maintenance bot Jack Hammer mentioned. Oh my god. Now that's what I call a major malfunction. <laughs> so, the cannons that he fires, they fire either acid or enemies. And you gotta hit him when he's just about to reach the same cannon as you, but you can't never really tell which one he's gonna go to. And I'm not even sure if this guy has a pattern. Looks like you got the scrap kicked out of you. Okay, I did get him. Looks like he just lost a shoulder plate. I do believe he has 10 hit points. Well, got him there. You can, you can clearly see that hitting the cannons with the wrench is how you fire them. Oh, come on! I got hit twice in the row by that dog. Die, you mangy mutt! You mangy metal mutt, I should say. Oh, God. Oh, hey, I got him while he was still running. And he, I don't... He wasn't even going to stop at this cannon. Got him again. He lost one of his knee pieces. Nice, got him again. Oh, don't worry. I'll make good use of your scrap. Oh, nope, not getting him here. Heal, boy. Only two hits left. This boss fight's not really difficult. Aw, oh, nuts. Oh, yeah. One, one hit left. Oh, come on, hit it. Yes, that's it. The maintenance bot is done for. Which means the scramblers are all mine.
Nice work, Rodney. I knew you could do it. What a kid. Ah, the scramblers. My bestest invention. The magnetic pulse that they emit will temporarily stop many different types of machinery. Even other robots. I'm sure you'll get good use out of them. Listen, Rodney. You need to find out why Big Weld Industries has stopped making spare parts. And I think the only robot that can help you is Big Weld himself. Try going to his mansion. Good luck. While you're here, can I help you with anything? Unless you have that item that doubles my scrap, then no. And that's a no. And as you may have guessed, Big Well's Mansion is where the next level takes place, and Fender finally has his head reattached. I'm so poor, I can't even pay attention. <laughs> oh, sorry. You heard that one. And that's clearly not Robin Williams voicing him in this game, unfortunately. I'm so poor, even having a free spirit stretches my budget. Please don't disturb. Meditating. Um. <gasps> you don't look like you're meditating. But let's just finish this level now. See that? Another really short level. Fighting the maintenance bots all you do. So that's gonna be it for part 8. I shall see you next time in level 9, where Rodney tries to find Big Weld at his mansion. Bye guys. Bye.